What's up guys, Mr. Gems back again for another Resident Evil Dead by Daylight chapter theory video. Hope you guys are not sick of this already. <laughs> and no, no, don't worry. Today I'm not going to say it's the sisters. I'm not going to say that. This is a different theory video. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, diehard fans of Resident Evil were probably a little bit pissed off when I said that I think... The sisters from Resident Evil Village were the next killers in Dead by Daylight. Um, and I can totally understand that. It's not your favorite character from a franchise you've absolutely fell in love with over the years. Totally understand that. People do get emotionally invested into characters. And in a lot of ways, I read your comments, by the way. I understand why it wouldn't be a massive uh, payoff for you people that would be affected by that. Totally understand that. I didn't do it just to, you know, piss people off. I'm not that type of person. I did it because of what the facts we had at the time, um, the details that were shared from the devs, all the other things, promoting everything. I put that all together, made that video. You can check out that video if you want. But this is a different theory. And this, just like the last theory video, I still have no idea who the killer or survivor or survivors are going to be. I never did know. These are just guesses. It's up to you guys whether you think this information is valuable and if it's something that you want to believe in as well. But we're going to get into this. Uh, basically, I have a sub on YouTube called The Dark Tyrant. No, no, not from Resident Evil. He's just called The Dark Tyrant. But he is one of the biggest Resident Evil fans out there. And he pretty much gives me any information that I need on the topic whenever I need it. He's that good. Yeah, so he shared a video on his YouTube channel. It was unlisted. He's now put it public. I'm going to put his details in the description below. You can go and subscribe to him if you find his content interesting. He covers all sorts, but right now it looks like he's covering mostly Resident Evil again. So go check him out, please. He'll do me a solid. He's a great guy and he's very knowledgeable. But this video, which I've been given permission to share, sort of just encapsulates his beliefs in what he thinks could be the Resident Evil chapter. And I watched this when I had a spare five minutes the other day, and I was like, hmm, he's got some pretty good points. Anyway, guys, without further ado, I'm going to roll this, vi uh, this video, and then we're going to discuss it at the end. Check it out.
So basically what Dark Tyrant's trying to say is, is uh, Matthew Cote shared a Claire line, a Claire line from Resident Evil. Uh, kill or be killed, it's your call. Because look, you have two choices here. Kill or be killed. It's your call. So from that alone, he's taking away that it could possibly be a classic character like Claire. Makes sense to me. It's a little bit on the nose for me, but hey, that might be what he's going for to maybe derail people into thinking something else. The second point that he makes is that it most likely could be the poster boy, Leon Scott Kennedy himself, especially with the fact that you see Clovers in the teaser. He's extrapolated that, and you know what? I never said this, but I thought the Clovers had something to do with so I actually thought it was important at one stage. Like this was very early days, but I don't know a lot about Resident Evil. So when he shared the Clover key that Leon can get, I was like, holy shit, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I actually like that. So very interesting. I definitely think Leon could be a high probability for this uh, Resident Evil chapter now, just from that, that, that was brilliant. He also outlines the details that it's raining in that particular moment with Leon and also that you can hear zombies from the trailer. Zombies have always been synonymous with classic Resident Evil, so could be zombies, could be Resident Evil classic, Leon, Claire, it all rounds up and makes sense. This theory makes sense to me. Again, don't know if it's right, but it definitely makes sense. We then go on to who he thinks the killer's gonna be and he says that it could be Nemesis and the reasons why number one being that it is a super popular character pretty much everyone who loves Resident Evil knows who Nemesis is and also he takes some footage or the music rather from the recent thrills and kills or kills and thrills video that Dead by Daylight shared on their YouTube channel. The two themes from that, the Resistance and Resident Evil 3, I believe, theme is very close to it. He did bring up this point in my Discord very early days when it came out and yeah, I, I kind of saw it, or I, I simply thought that it might just be the new music like for a promotion for this video, but you never know, there could be something behind this, and it would make sense, so quite happy with that. Also, I want to go over something pretty important, it was the dev message that was shared in an article, and I'm going to bring it up here, and a link to it will be in the description as well. So I'll start off with this. We are excited to be working with the legendary studio Capcom to create the next Dead by Daylight chapter, said Dead by Daylight creative director Dave Richard in a press release. It is an honor and an absolute joy to welcome the original Survivor horror game Resident Evil in the Entities universe. The result is fantastic and will surprise new players and veterans alike. That's pretty cool. Players can expect a chapter packed with iconic content and novel ways to sacrifice or survive inspired by the renowned franchise. What that part tells me really is, again, using the words iconic. So players will expect a chapter packed with iconic content. Yeah? It seems to me that he's talking about classic Resident Evil, stuff that's iconic. You can't exactly call Resident Evil Village iconic yet. It's been out for like two minutes, you know what I mean? So that's what I take from that, I guess. Game director Matthew Cote added, This is such an awesome new addition to our universe. If you had told us five years ago when we launched that one day we would be adding characters from the legendary Resident Evil world into our game, none of us would have believed you. We are so grateful to Capcom for everything they've done over the years to bring horror to the world of video games. And today, we get to bring these icons into Dead by Daylight. It's an incredibly proud moment for us. Again, focusing on iconic icons, we get to bring these icons. Again, it's just, for me, it's screaming classic characters. Again, a Resident Evil Village might stand on its own, might have great characters, you know what I mean? That's fine but it is very new, literally this month. <laughs> so yeah, from that article, from Dark Tyrant's evidence that he supplied to me, I am starting to think that it may indeed be classic Resident Evil characters. So just to close, Tyrant thinks Leon and Claire as the survivors, he thinks it's a double survivor DLC. I think Double Survivor is incredibly likely, makes sense to me, and he thinks that Nemesis is going to be pinned as the killer for the new Resident Evil chapter coming at, coming very soon by the way, we get to have a look at it next week, so that's pretty cool. But anyway guys, what do you think? Do you think there's any merit to any of this evidence that's been shared? Also don't forget to head over to Dark Tyrant's channel and subscribe to him, he's a great guy, thank you for letting me use this, thank you for providing this detail, and 
I think you may have changed my mind about the sisters, I'm not going to lie. Um, again, I'm not saying that this is 100% going to happen, I'm just having a look at these sort of little bits, tidbits and things like that. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to tell us in the comments and tell us what you think as well, what the killer and survivors could be. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and consider joining us on the Discord and Twitter to continue these types of conversations on there. Guys, I hope you have an amazing night. I will see you in the stream in an hour. See you later.